Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. For the longest time now, I've been receiving many requests to do a top 10 of the best Dragon Ball Z transformations. And I think it's about time we get to it. Now, this was a bit challenging as there are many transformations and even those that are the same transformation but to different characters are known as a big impact and couldn't come at a better time. But since we are only choosing 10, be aware that your favorite might not appear and also I will not add the same transformation twice, otherwise other great ones wouldn't have room to fit in the list. But before we begin, I want to give a shout out to Milford Vital, Ryan Cheek, Jeff JPI, Patrick Downing, Kanye Harper, and John Flores. You guys are awesome! I know I will always look forward to entertaining you all and I am glad that you are tuning into my channel, even when I post up some ridiculous content that may not be everyone's taste. So thank you so much for your support. Now, let's begin. Number 10, Hatchak. Hatchak is a character that not many know about, well, up until the game Raging Blast 2 came out, but in the original footage of the game where depending on the choices the player makes, you will receive a different cutscene. In one of the cutscenes when taking on Hatchak, he transforms into Super Hatchak, which looks insane! The crazy part is that Hatchak was already extremely powerful, so the fact that he can become Super Hatchak was just simply overkill. He doesn't stay this way for long either. We aren't given a reasonable explanation to why he becomes Super Hatchak and after laying a knockout hit on the Z Fighters, he turns back into his base form. Maybe it's so powerful it's like Kaioken where it lasts for a very short time. Or maybe he realizes he went over the top. Number 9, Ape Transformation. The Ape Transformation first appeared in Dragon Ball, and then many times in the beginning of the Dragon Ball series. But even though we never saw another Ape Transformation after the Saiyan Saga, it was badass! We never really knew how strong it was, because everyone lost their tail a little too early. It was as if it was forgotten by Toriyama or pushed aside to make room for new transformations. I never knew why Toriyama got rid of the Saiyan's tail. It looked badass with the tail. Anyways, you gotta admit, the ape transformation may be a bit of an annoyance, especially because they act like a Rottweiler that's out of control, but other than that, they kick ass and destroyed everything in their path. Number 8, Frieza's fourth form. Frieza has a great design and in his first form he looked weak but that's what made him a threat. That he was short and weak looking, yet he was very dangerous and pretty much someone you wouldn't want to piss off. Then in his second form he became the complete opposite. He got a very tall and super buff with his horns looking like a bull's horns making him look way bigger of a threat. That was great but if you look at the design, it's the exact same as the first only tall, buff, and horny. Then his third form was not exactly original. Yes, we know it's an exact copy of an alien xenomorph. But then his fourth form was perfect. A major change in his design. He went back to being short, but not too short. He looked again like an alien, but not a xenomorph. And the design was just perfect. There's no argument that this is by far the best design for Frieza. Number seven, Janemba. Janemba made a huge impact in the movie Fusion Reborn, and we had mixed opinions when we first saw him because his first form was very obese. Not only was he huge, but he looked like a very joyful yellow good guy. Then he surprised us with his abilities when taking on Goku. Janemba demonstrated some amazing special moves and Goku needed to go Super Saiyan 3 in order to defeat him. But once Janemba turned into his true form, damn was that shocking. He looked like the devil! His design looked insane, and it wasn't even Toriyama who designed it. Even he was astonished with the design of Janemba. You know you did a great job designing this character when the creator of the franchise loved it. Number 6, Super Buu. Majin Buu went through so many transformations, and the best one had to be Super Buu. This one was smart, clever, and extremely tough. But then once he absorbed Piccolo and Gotenks, his design looked even better. His head tail got even longer, he had the fusion clothing, 
He looked way stronger. I mean, this guy became extremely tough, and we could tell by the looks of it. Like I said, we've seen many transformations of Boo, and Super Boo was definitely the best. His power level was extremely high, and it always makes me wonder whether he could be equal to or defeat Vegito with this transformation. Hmm. I think we just came up with a new Who Would Win match. Number 5. Perfect Cell. The design to Imperfect Cell looked good. When he said that he needed to absorb Androids 17 and 18 to become perfect, we knew he was going to go through two new looks. His transformation to Semi-Perfect Cell also looked good. It was an improvement, but I was always wondering how were they going to top that off, and man did they top it off great. Perfect Cell looks intense. I always wanted the Androids to be a bigger threat like they were in Trunks' future, but after seeing Perfect Cell, I quickly took it back. I loved the design of the character. His special abilities were great. The fact that he could shout out Cell Juniors at any time makes him even more of a threat because of how strong those Cell Juniors are. Cell definitely made a major impact in the series. And he really demonstrated it by taking down Goku, Trunks, and Android 16. Number 4, Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan 3 is a great improvement over Super Saiyan 1 and 2. Especially 2, since that looked close to no different from the first. The first time Goku revealed it was when he took on Fat Boo. And to be honest, it wasn't really an impact to us. It just came out of nowhere. But if you think about it, when Goku went Super Saiyan 3 in the movie Fusion Reborn, it was also while he was dead, so I like to think of that as his first time. But then there is that plot hole where Goten and Trunks also fuse in the movie, which Goku taught them that when he was on Earth, so... Fuck. But anyways, Super Saiyan 3 looks amazing, no idea why the character loses his eyebrows, but still looks very cool. Number 3. Cooler's 5th Transformation This is definitely one of the coolest designs for a transformation. I mean look at this, you can't possibly hate on this look. It sucks that Cooler only used this once and never transformed again. Even though he had a fucking sequel and appeared in the movie Plan to Eradicate the Saiyans. But he looked amazing. He was super strong and super fast, yet Goku going Super Saiyan made him look like a bitch, but still. Damn, why would they ignore this? He looks fucking badass! We should have had Cooler come back with Frieza in the movie Resurrection F. Just imagine Frieza and Cooler training together, and in the final fight against Goku and Vegeta, we see Golden Frieza take on Goku God Super Saiyan, and Golden Cooler on his fifth form take on Vegeta God Super Saiyan. This would have been fucking epic. Number 2, Legendary Super Saiyan. The first time I saw Legendary Super Saiyan, I was shocked. Until today, I still think it's the best design for the Legendary Super Saiyan. How could you not like it when the guy looks like a shrimp at first, and then becomes completely buffed out and huge? Then to make him look more threatening, you can't even see his eyes. Now, there are a lot of Broly haters out there, but even they have to acknowledge that his design looks great. Whether the character is hated or not, you know he looks badass. Number 1. Super Saiyan Of course this one had to be number 1. We all love Dragon Ball Z mainly because of this. It may not look like it's much of a difference in the looks department. In fact, Toriyama only added it only because his partner wanted to draw the characters without working too much on the black hair. And Toriyama said, well, this way you won't have to take too long on their hair. I probably broke so many hearts by saying that. I know, I felt stunned, but not in a good way when I first heard that that was the true reason to the creation of a Super Saiyan. But anyways, doesn't it look badass? Their hair turning gold and shiny, their power rising to the extremes? I mean, how could you not like it when even Frieza gets scared of the thought of it? Even in video games, we can't like a game unless they allow you to transform during a fight. We love to go Super Saiyan, even if it doesn't increase our character's strength. Supposedly, in every game where you can go Super Saiyan, your power increases, but we don't really see a difference. And honestly, we don't care. We just love to do it whether it increases our strength or not. And why? Because it looks so badass. 
Now, that's the top 10 best transformations in DBZ, but you know what? There's one more that I feel needs to be mentioned, so here's a bonus. Gogeta. This one is another badass transformation, and even if it didn't make the list, I had to include it somehow. Well, that's it for the top 10 list. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, put a thumbs up. And if there are any other videos you would love to request, please let me know in the comments. Also, post up any comments, funny ones, or whatever ones you can think of. Put the best comments up in my videos whenever I see some really good ones. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll be sure to let you know when I post up more of my videos. This is Score saying have an awesome day.